Uh, here is a question for you that I'm, I'm concerned about <laughs> reading the book. I would love to hear your perspective on this because sure. it's been playing in my mind. And that is, what's your most challenging project? Because you seem to have developed this optimism <laughs> and that because you're creating that God creates, uh, there's nothing that could nothing stop in you, my especially way. since you're operating from nothing imagination. Me. <laughs> because you're operating from imagination. What would you say is your most challenging project to date? This is interesting. That book over there wasn't challenging. It was fun in a, in a sense. I mean, it had its own challenges. But my friend over here was really challenging. Oh, wow. And I wasn't really expecting it to be as challenging. In fact, as you can see right now, there's already a challenge because the cover is, is in the back. But anyways, okay. it was challenging because, you know, when I went to my brother, I said, Yo, you do some coding, right? Um, I want to, the word is collaborate, not just collaborate, but I want you to help me write code okay. so I can take these seven questions. Yeah, and then auto generate the entire book, because the idea was auto generate this. Like, imagine me typing all of this; it doesn't make sense. So it's like, okay, let's write a program that will, will input the the seven questions. We give an instruction to say stretch from January first to January twenty twenty five, which is when the whole thing ends. And for each day, uh, take one song from the hymn, because I want to stretch out the hymns as well. People will be able to sing all the entire hymn in a year as well. And then obviously take chapters in chronology from Genesis to Revelation. He knows how to code. <laughs> he can just do it for me. But it was like, nah. <laughs> so you have this creative desire and energy and fire burning within you. And then obstacle. I've done some coding, but not at that level. I've never used Python, yeah, which yeah. is what I would have to use here. So it's like... Well, I think this is so important, not just for me, but I've seen the void. I've seen the statistics. I know people need to read the whole Bible. So that's what drove me to say, okay, let's consult chat GPT. So I did, I, I went on chat GPT and said, okay, well, show me how to do this. He gave me some instructions, gave me some primary code. I do understand a little bit of how logic works in code. So but for me that was learning how to code because i had to learn how to do python and that was challenging because at every level imagine you write code it works and something time, happens then it doesn't work then you have to fix, fix that it, yeah so, so it was like whew, debugging mode i was like what am i doing here i'm not in i'm not as i'm not a, what is it called i'm not a software programmer engineer, engineer okay. or something like that but that wasn't enough after i'm done with that um I remember I was so stuck because, and, and this is a testament to what we're talking about. I was so stuck. I had no idea how to do this thing. I knew I wanted to do a devotional for the whole year. But when I did the whole year, it was, it was the book was going to be too big. And not just too big. I couldn't even load the document. Oh, wow. My, Microsoft Word was like, no, we can't help you. Here. Can't help you. This is too thing. much. So I called a friend, I said, um, I have this problem, can you help? I, I am stuck. And funny enough, she says, mm, we can divide it in two sections. Now in, in my creative focus, I didn't see that coming. And and for me, I felt so Problem relieved. was just so big to you at I the know. point, eh? I felt so relieved, oh yeah, wow, yeah, we can do that. So there was that collaboration that helped me and that's why i say that like if if you are stuck you're not really stuck you just need someone to show you you're not really stuck there's no such thing as being stuck 